Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bell Loves Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! When you ask. How I've been here without you I'd like to say I've been fine And I do But we both know the truth Is hard to come by And if I told the truth That's not quite true Cause some days are diamonds And some days are stones And sometimes the hard times Won't leave me alone Sometimes a cold wind Blows a chill in my bones And some days are diamonds and some days are stones. <laughs> Did you like that one? John Denver. Oh, I love a good John Denver song. Going to karaoke. Maybe I should karaoke that tonight. All right, everybody. Welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy, and you have landed on Holla for your dollar haul. It's a Dollar Tree shopping haul. Yes, it is. It's kind of a big one. Well, I feel like it's a big one. Yeah, it is. It is kind of a big one. So, and it's just a Mod Podge, Hod Podge. There is no Mod Podge, but it's a hodgepodge of stuff. Okay, so Evingham, say hello. <laughs> hello, besties. Very nice of you. Um, they all say, and Sabrina always sends her love. Um, all right, you guys. So, let's just dive right into this, right? John Denver, though. Um, mm, I love that song. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to start with food because I always start with food. Oh, by the way, if you're new to the channel, mm, stick around. Um, this channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a... A dollar, Anna. That's right, Eppingham. It's a dollar and a quarter, unless you go to a Dollar Tree Plus. Yeah. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. And by the way, for all my besties, yes, I put my hair extensions back in because winter is coming. That always makes... Does that, does that make you all think of Game of Thrones? Winter is coming. It always does. Okay, let's start with food. Ready? Here we go. So, something that came back this year, it was there last year, it's back again, I was like, okay, I'm gonna grab one. I'm gonna actually take it into work for the guys because um, we don't eat cookies, but I had to show you guys because this is such an incredible buy and these are the kinds of things that you're looking for at Dollar Tree, right? So, I mean, this is um, a 12 ounce Teddy Bear cookies. So, these are really good buy and they're really good, they're the Teddy Bear cookies. They think that, this one's honey. They have original, and I think they have cinnamon, too. I only found the honey this time, but they're back. So just throwing that out there for you guys. We've tasted those before. They're really, really good, so that's all good. Also, a repeat buy would be the Cheddar Garlic Bisquick Mix. So I'm pulling some stuff together for Thanksgiving. <laughs> We're going camping. We're going out to our property for Thanksgiving, and so I'm just collecting. I hadn't seen the Pillsbury Cheddar Biscuits in a while, so I thought, ooh, I'm grabbing those to take on our camping trip to make for one of our mornings that we're out there for Thanksgiving. This is kind of a treat because we don't really do a lot of breads and chips and stuff like that. So there's that. And then also a repeat buy, but it was so good. I bought some more of the Dole fruit cups because I'm just wondering how long are they gonna be there? Now, this is not an incredible buy. I get it, totally get it. But it's a convenience buy. And I wanna point out to everybody, just so you know, oops, I dropped the label. They come with a little spoon on them, so they're great for lunches. They ha are sealed, but the minute you take this off, this doesn't work as a lid. So we did it on a foodie fun day. We tried these, and then I put it in my lunch the next day, and it was all over my lunchbox because the lid does not seal on this. So that's just an FYI. I try to share as much info as I can. Yes. Okay, and then another repeat buy. So I'm going to show you all my repeat buys first, and that is the coffee because I buy coffee, my coffee at Dollar Tree as long as I can find this stuff. So this is the Jim Beam Bourbon Vanilla. Listen, you get four ounces in here at a buck 25. So four times four is 16 ounces, making it pound. And four times $1.25 is five bucks. And $5 a pound right now are sale prices for coffee. And I'm getting um, a Jim Beam. Like last year, 
I bought a ton of these and I gave them away with little Jim Beam shots for, um, for Christmas. It was super cute. And then also the Harry and Davy, David, Davy, Harry, David, Davy. What was the old, um, claymation show? Davy, David and Goliath, Davy. And it was right. Are you guys with me on that one? Okay. But this one is so good. The vanilla creme brulee. Ah, oh, it's so good. So I buy my coffee there. We only make one pot of coffee a day. We take in the morning, we take our coffee with us and that's it. So not even on the weekends do we do more than one pot. So I don't go through coffee super fast. Okay, so this is, I hauled this I think last weekend and it was the almonds. I have it right here. Ooh, let me check. Why did I say almonds? Walnuts, walnuts, and then I found the pecans. Well, obviously, this is definitely like Thanksgiving kind of stuff, but oatmeal. I'm purchasing it to throw it into Marcus's oatmeal. So I should probably do a, throw them in the Foodie Fun Day stuff so that we can taste them and make sure that they taste fresh. But these are good until September of 24. So I'm thinking they're pretty good. And actually, I don't think this is a super bad price because nuts are so expensive. This is 2.5 ounce on the walnuts and it's 1.5 on the pecans. Um, anyway, nice little treat to add to oatmeal for Marcus. So... But these, I don't think I've tried these before. Mm, these are Little Dutch veggie crackers and chicken fla fla flavored crackers. Chicken in a biscuit and veggie, I don't know what the veggie thins, what are they called? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna, we will try these for a foodie fun day. But this is Little Dutch. This is only a five ounce box, okay? So this is not what I would say is an incredibly good buy, but because I think like, I wanna say, 12 ounce box of crackers on sale can be under two, but I don't know, whatever. So I don't think it's an incredibly good buy. However, if they are taste alikes, there's a convenience factor to it. Anyway, so I grabbed them to try for you guys, just so you'll know. And then another new food item, which I'm sort of excited about. This is the um, Giardinaria. I don't know how you say it. Somebody, yeah. Giardinaria. Anyway, I mean, I'm sure it means garden in Italian or something. So it is, the ingredients in this are like water, cauliflower, carrots, cucumbers, pickled onions, celery, salt. So anyway, there's there's a bunch of different veggies in here. Buck 25, all chopped up, all nice and ready to go into a salad. I only bought one so that Marcus can try this. If he really likes them, I will buy more of them. He makes himself like bean salads all the time and he throws this kind of stuff in it. So we'll see. Okay, let's move on to the drinks because that was the best part of the food, I think. <laughs> All right, so I have told you guys, Alani, the coffees and the energy drinks are like so good. And then I told you I was at Costco and I found them in a can. What? And then I walk into Dollar Tree and I find them in what? In a can. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I don't even know. Power of suggestion. I, mm, it doesn't really work like that, Evan, but thank you. <laughs> so I don't know. These are, I have not tried it yet, but it's kiwi, oh, okay, it's kiwi guava. Sounds amazing, only 10 calories in here. And this is um, an energy drink, it's 12 fluid ounces, zero sugars. I'm trying to see how much caffeine is it gonna tell me. Um, yeah, somewhere on here probably, I just, oh, 200 milligrams of caffeine, so this is definitely an energy drink. So I will have to try these. I'm gonna put it in our foodie fun day to try. And then I also found another energy drink called Mango Bango Meltdown. Now, I love mango. So, I mean, I, it's like I have to, right? Don't you agree? Like I have to. This is called a dietary supplement. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Real, key, real ketones, novel energy, four electrolytes. Um, and it's got, um, uh, I don't even know. What's it? Calories five. I have no idea how much of anything else. Oh, 1,250 milligrams of active D ketones. Um, 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 Anyway, okay, well, whatever. I thought I would try that. So I guess it is really supposed to be a diet. Maybe if this is really good. Hmm, I'm gonna stick it in the fridge and try one. Made in the USA too, by the way, you guys. Okay, well, that's interesting. So I only grabbed one to try those. And then I found probably... I mean, this is an incredibly good brand name buy. This is a really good brand name buy. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Starbucks. Okay, I can't carry them all. Yes, I can. Starbucks. Starbucks triple shot energy drinks. It's like 225 milligrams of caffeine, 
Um, they're an energy coffee beverage. Okay, here's the thing. 210 calories. 210. They all have 210 calories. All right. But, so follow me here. I was thinking, wouldn't this make a cute little gift to put three of these together and maybe add a little $10 Starbucks gift card on it or something? Yeah, but then I get them home on December 18th of 23. That's the French vanilla. The caramel is till November 20th of 23. We got a week to drink that. And this one is the only good one, which is February 26th of 24, the Cafe Mocha. So, I actually pulled out a Cafe Mocha. So, a French vanilla caramel and a Cafe Mocha. This trip, I, I put this in the fridge. So, this is a surge of caffeine from Starbucks. Coffee with a hint of mocha flavor and a touch of cream that isn't just for starting your morning. It's for powering through. I don't like that it's 210 calories. I do not like that. However, um, as a treat, that's not too bad. And this would be really, I bet I was supposed to shake it first. Does it say shake first? Shake, shake, shake. Do, 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 do. Shake, shake, shake. Do, 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 do. Shake your food out. Okay, let's see. I mean, how can it not be good? It's so good. Mm -hmm. Really strong mocha flavor. So the other thing is too, is that you can cut these with, with regular coffee. Just do 50-50, and it's such a good iced coffee as well. Then you're lessening your calories as well. But I'm like, Starbucks? And it, why? Somebody, tell me why. Tell me why. <laughs> is it Backstreet Boys? Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. No, different song. I don't even know. Okay, this is really good. Very strong. I can absolutely see cutting this with maybe even a little bit more milk in it and pour it over ice, it would be phenomenal. Okay, so what did you guys think of my idea though? It's like a gift. So I guess I could do the cafe, cafe mochas because they're good till February. I, and actually, they well, they all have the red on them, don't they? Yeah. But I just thought it would be a super cute gift and then I get home and find out like they're, yeah. the So I shouldn't, shouldn't be drinking the cafe mochas. I should just give them away for Christmas, huh? I don't know. Or I could put one of these in, remember the mugs that I got that change color when you put hot in them? Okay, whatever. Apparently it's going to be a coffee theme again this year for Christmas for everybody. All right. I did go into a Dollar Tree Plus. So I randomly picked up one item from a Dollar Tree Plus, which I don't normally buy stuff like this at Dollar Tree in general, let alone a Dollar Tree Plus. But we were in need, and I was like, whatever, I'm going to get him. And so I'm going to do a little homework online later on. But I bought a thing of paper towels for five bucks. So, you know, you have to, like, this is Harmony Strong and Absorbent to ply paper towels. You have to like do the, the square footage. Like how much are your paper towels per square foot? Yeah, I didn't do that right then in the moment. I just grabbed them because we needed them. However, I will. My guess is it's probably not a great buy. I actually find it somewhat irritating that they have these amazing buys on other stuff and then in their Dollar Tree Plus, some of the brand name items is like, that's not even, what? Like, have you been to one of the new um, Dollar Tree Pluses that has Dollar Tree Plus food? I don't feel like any, I have not desired to pick up any of the food there yet because none of it seems to be a great buy. They had like Arby's curly fries, a bag of Arby's cur curly fries or whatever, Arby's fries for five bucks. And I'm like, uh, no. I mean, I can buy a bag of potatoes for less than make my own fries. Name brand, I get it. But I just didn't, I'm like, I don't know. That doesn't do much for me. Okay. So along the cleaning stuff, I picked up my paper towels. I also grabbed one LA Totally Awesome Stain Lifter Laundry Detergent. So I normally use pods for my laundry. I do full loads of laundry, but occasionally with delicates and whatnot, or we need to wash something because it's, you know, a uniform thing or something and it's got to get done, or th there's reasons that you have to quickly wash. Then I don't want to use a whole pod and waste it. So I always have a um, laundry detergent in my laundry supplies just for small loads like that. And so I'd never tried this one. It doesn't really matter, but it's clean, fresh scent and it's stain lifter. So I was like, okay. And actually, stains is one of the reasons that you end up washing something really quick, right? Stain it on Monday, not doing wash until Saturday. I don't want to ruin the piece of clothing. So I'll do a quick load of, of it. Okay. Also, I found these, which I'm like, what? I have no, I've never seen these before. And again, this would make a great gift for somebody. I think I've told you guys before that my best friend when I was a kid, her mom, as, they, as her kids became young adults, um, her mother would give them practical boxes of supplies at Christmas. And so they would get a big box full of paper towels and toilet paper. Thing. Anyway, but I'm thinking like, that'd be so cute. And this, these could go in there. So this is poopery. Do you guys remember poopery? Do you remember like having him? You probably don't. 
Cows don't lose, use poopery. You're right, they don't. They just don't. No, uh-uh. But it's amazing stuff. So, okay. Um, I've never seen it there before. This is by Great Sense. It's pre-poo toilet spray. This one is um, tropical hibiscus, and this one is sea salt. Well, I mean, why not give us chocolate? <laughs> but um Okay. But this is um, distributed by Delta Brands out of Larchmont, New York. And I was like, these are so perfect. So, again... Because I'm talking about collecting stuff for the RV. This is the kind of stuff that's super important. Small spaces, right? So I was super excited to, to get this. And I haven't tried either one of them yet. I'm not going to spray them right now. But I um, have not seen that be there before. And I don't know that it will be there. Or if this was just a random thing that they purchased and are selling it for a short time. Delta Brands. I don't know that brown brand. Okay. And then um, I also got Febreze item. Which I think this is so cool. Also, RV. So, I've never seen this before. But first of all, it has a scratch and sniff. And it is cranberry pear. Cranberry pear. Which I'm guessing is why it's there. It was the only scent that I found. So, I'm like, this scent didn't sell well. So, they got rid of them. But this is a... Can I open one up just to show you guys what we're talking about? So, oh my gosh, do you get two in here? Yeah, you do. Okay. So they're little shades. This is a, you get two scented shades, one stand. So this is what it does. You There's a little stand and you open up the shade and you put it down there and it's like this little, this little, um, I don't know, thing about bobber, like a stand that this opens up onto. Okay, let's just do it. Yeah, let's just do it so you can see it. So I don't know why this is there. I can't imagine it's a product that's gonna be there all the time. It's for Breeze, which is certainly a brand name and usually expensive. So I'm thinking that this is just a one-off to us because um, nobody liked cranberry pear, which by the way, I think smells really good. But I suppose if it was next to lavender vanilla or something, you know, maybe the cranberry pear wouldn't be the one that you would grab. And so they probably ended up with a whole bunch. Okay, so when you open it up, this is what you get. It feels very, oh, it smells amazing. It's like a, it's like an, um, a little uh, Japanese lantern, right? I feel like it's going to float off in the air. <laughs> Who are we remembering today? All right, so, wow, that's, oh, woo, wow. You can? Yeah, that's, you guys, this is strong. I wonder how long it's strong for, though. <laughs> I mean, like, so here's the thing. It says that they last 190 hours. 190 hours but I grabbed them because I'm throwing them in the RV supply because like seriously I should have got more anyway this is like so light when you're talking about buying things for an RV weight it's extremely important so I'm not taking Marcus <laughs> <Ba -dum -bum. laughs> oh no I'm taking my big fat cow don't worry Effingham you go before Marcus <laughs> yes exactly but when you are buying things for an RV, that is actually a consideration. So I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cool. I should have bought more. This is so strong. I'm going to put it in my bedroom. I'm curious how <laughs> how long it says 190 <coughs> hours, which is what? Not quite 10 days, right? Very clever how they do that. 190 hours. What are you going to do? Turn it off? No. So, um, I mean, there's 24 hours in a day. So 10 days would be 240 minus 2, 24, 24. So I guess about eight days. So about a week. These are worth about a week. Well, not bad for a buck 25. But Febreze, really? I was kind of shocked. So that was a good brand name find on this run. All right, and then I grabbed in the, now we're into health and beauty. So I grabbed some Charcoal Extreme toothbrushes. They're soft, which I'm not super excited about, but... They're brush buddies and they're char charcoal infused. And I just grab different toothbrushes, different styles, different everything. I feel like, okay, so we were using that style for a while. Maybe this will be better for our teeth for the next round of toothbrushes. Is that silly? I used to do that with shampoo when I was younger. And it was like, I heard that if you switched up your shampoo, then your hair would, would be healthier for it because you weren't having the after effects of whatever side effect each shampoo has on different hair. I don't know if that's true or not. Doesn't matter. Okay, and then I grabbed hydrating hand and nail gloves. I was like, what? So this is they have with coconut oil and it's touchscreen compatible. And I'm like, are you kidding me? 
So I can literally put my hands into these gloves to get soft and all that, but still do like my editing or something like that. I only got one and I thought, I'm just gonna get one, try it, see how it goes and we'll see. But uh, it's just uh, begin with clean, dry hands. Yeah, anyway, I thought I would try it. So, and I love coconut, so coconut oil. All right, and then these are back out and I was like, yes, because this is an amazing buy. So this is Intensive Eye Wipes. They are distributed by Global Beauty, so it's one of the ones that's in the Dollar Tree all the time, but you don't see these all the time. So I grabbed two because there's 60 wipes in here. I don't know about you, I use a facial wipe on my face every morning, every morning. And so, um, yeah, so I grabbed two. I was actually, my supply was kind of getting low. So, but 60 wipes. This is a huge thing of wipes for a buck 25. Okay, and the final thing in the little beauty aisle was these. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. This is the cutest thing ever. Now, I use press-on nails all the time. But, and I don't have any on right now because I'm still waiting for this to grow out. Actually, I think tomorrow, because it was so sore, I couldn't put a nail on it. It hurt so bad. So it's getting better now. I don't know if I'm gonna lose my nail or not. So I think tomorrow I might try some press on nails. Um, we'll see. But I haven't had them on for like two weeks because it was too painful. There was one on it when I did the injury. And to get that thing off was like, ah, yeah. But these are little press on nails for little girls. So it's like, no, how cute. And they had cute other designs. I just happened to like the one with the little cupcake because I thought then I can give it to a little girl for her birthday. So I thought that was sort of cute. Um, and so I know the little girl that I'm gonna give them to. I just like, these are so stinking cute, right? I mean, there's only 12 pieces. So, you know, you're not, they're not gonna fit perfectly and the size of the fingers, these look pretty little. But anyway, I was like, oh my gosh, press on nails for little girls. Seriously, I would have loved them. I would have loved them when I was a little girl. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go to the sock aisle where I found, what? Oh, some really good stuff. And I don't need socks, but sometimes when you find socks, you're like, I, I'm throwing out pairs. I'm throwing out pairs for these. So the first two are not for me, but they're so obviously, Marcus's um, sister had a little baby boy not that long ago and I had my great grandson and stuff, so little baby boy stuff, but these are fiddlesticks. I don't know what they are. They're definitely a brand. They have a sticker in the back of them. They are um, from distributed by Sock and Accessory Bland Brand. Can't talk. Socks and Accessory Brands. Anyway, it reminds me of something like you would see it like Babies Are Us or no, no price on the back of it. Anyway, it's three packs. Look at these adorable socks. Yeah, fiddlesticks. So I'm like, okay, definitely for sure. I mean, that's like the kind of thing, you know, that's a good buy, $1.25 for three adorable little socks for little kids. But then I found these. I was like, oh my, and why I didn't buy more? Because there's two little, anyway. At first I was thinking Scarlet, and I was thinking, she might be too old for this. I'll ask her, because if she's not, then I'm totally gonna send these to her. But this is, um, this is by Lottie Da, and they're called Mixaroos. Oh my gosh, you guys. It says that there are 30 combos. So here's the thing, there's, there's these socks all have a different pattern. So you don't get a pair, you get, you get mix and match and then you wear them together. Like how cute is this? So there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six socks in here, which is a good buy all in itself. That's three pairs, right? Three pairs of these long, anyway, it's winter time in, in Iowa and that's a fun time to wear socks around the house. And so I think Scarlett would like these. I'm gonna send them to her, but they're just so cute. Just this mix and match, it's called Mixaroos. Now you know that these were way more than a buck 25 wherever they were sold at. This was probably a $12 item, if not more. And it is distributed by this, oh my gosh, they were $9.99, what? Yeah, $9.99, yeah. So what a nice little buy. And that's, this is the same distributed by the same company these fiddlesticks are. So they're out there. I'm sure there's more of these kinds of things out there. I happen to find those two. So I was super excited about that throw into the Christmas gift stash. But this is for me. And had I found more, I would have bought them for every woman I know. But I only found one. And I was like, okay, because somebody else bought them. This is also distributed by that same company, I believe. Nope, this is distributed by Lottie Da. 
I should have sang that song today. Lottie, Lottie, la, uh, I can't remember how it goes. Anyway, no price on this one. But these are so amazing. These are memory foam liners, and they are, they're for size four to seven. So they might be a little small for me. I don't care. I'm gonna try them anyway. Um, cause these are smalls, but these are, and if they don't fit me, I'll give them to somebody. So they're memory foam padding. So you put them on and like you can wear a short boot with them, right? So it's just, you guys, I wish I could, this is so incredible feeling. So incredible. And these were not. Oh, there's two pair. What? There's two pairs in here. I didn't realize that. Yeah, there's two pairs. So there's one in, there's two in here. Hold on, I'm figuring this out. Are there, there are two pairs in here. How sweet is that? That makes them like 67 cents a pair for these beautiful foam. Oh, hey, if nothing else, I can cut the, see, cause it's like a sock on the top of it. Hold on, let me just open it. Cause I'm gonna open them anyway. Cause I, I'm gonna try them. So it's like a sock on the top part of it. And so if nothing else, I'm thinking you could just cut that out and have the memory foam insert for your dang, for your dang shoe, right? But I feel, I think these are gonna fit me. I'm, yeah. Okay, so see how that is? But you could just have, this is so cool, the memory foam. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So be on the lookout for those. That's Lottie Dot. That, this is such a good buy, like such a good buy. Okay, so three amazing sock finds, which I, it's been a while since I found some good sock finds, but I did. Okay. And then I picked up one Barbie outfit because this is one I had not seen there before. And I collect the little Barbie outfits for this little girl. And I was like, yeah, that's super cute. It's like this denim jacket and shorts. It's, but it's Barbie. It's Barbie. It's Barbie. Mm -hmm. I'm your Barbie doll. You, <laughs> what is it? Wrapped in plastic. It's fantastic. Okay, so now down to the man aisle, I guess is where I'm gonna go next, sort of. So in the man aisle, um, I hauled like two weeks ago, I think, the Scotch coaster cups that were wood. And so look what I found. Found them in clear. These I'm actually gonna use in my house. So I don't mean you could craft with them, you certainly could because there's, here's what I'm gonna show you. This is, bum -ba -da -da, let's open them up. This is why you could craft with them because they would make an excellent stand and maybe I will with some of them for like Christmas time. Oh, like take a really beautiful ornament and put it on here and decorate it. Wait, speaking of ornaments, well, this is one I'm getting ready to do, but see, wow. Actually, that's a really good idea. So you can do that. And then when you have a really beautiful ornament and like this is a big one, like I could do rub on transfers on this one from the Dollar Tree and do something really cool and it would just stand all by itself uh, you don't have to put it on a tree and so many ornaments, you know, they make ornament hangers, but why not an ornament sitter? Huh? So there are four in a box. I literally did buy these to use. And now I'm thinking maybe I won't. Just maybe they're going to be, cause we're putting in all these new floors and the wood ones were like too dark, but these, I don't know. I need, yeah, I might need to buy more. Okay. So I found those, so just keep your eye out because obviously these are not a buck 25 either. I have no idea why they're there, but they are, so let's find them. Okay, now, randomly in one of the aisles, I found this. I have no idea where it was. Maybe it's in like the kids, it might be in like the teenage little section, you know, where they have that little, um, uh, you know, like, like near the register sometimes, and it'll be like, they'll have all this. Uh, no, it's not a cow, but you're right. It is an animal. Okay, so what I found was this little picture frame and the picture back there slides out of the back. So I grabbed it. I know it's not Valentine's Day. It's not anywhere near Valentine's Day, but little, little jacks there came from um, my daughter's dogs, um, Mattis and Juanita. And so I thought it'd be really cute if Jack sent mom and dad a, a Valentine's. So I'm gonna put a picture of Jack's that and send it off to Madison Juanita from their son, Jax. Okay, just a fun little find. Then um, at the cash register, if I find these, I usually grab one if I see them. If you haven't tried the Crocs candy lighters, I love these. So I keep them around. They're fantastic for lighting candles because a regular lighter is hard to get in there. The bigger ones, you know, are, but anyway, these are just fabulous because they fit anywhere. And I just love the little Crocs ones. Okay, then also up by the cash register, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, 
I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a little mini vacuum. Now, here's the thing. We're opening this up. We are going to open this up. We are going to see what this is. I did not open it up there. Oh my God, you guys. I'm going to have to charge this up. I mean, yeah. So, I guess it charges by USB. I wonder if this thing is any good. Oh my gosh. So, I have an extension cord in my craft area that's USB. <laughs> like, I could just... I have a wonderful little vacuum thing that I use, but I'm dying. I'm just dying to know if this thing works. I should have opened it so I could have had it ready to go. Dang, but how stinking cute is it, right? Oh, I hope it works. I hope it's like a good little tiny mini vacuum. So I bought a vacuum for the RV. <laughs> Babe, I bought a vacuum for the RV. It won't take up much weight. It's very, come here, look what I bought. Look what I bought for the RV. I bought a vacuum. He can't come because he can't come on camera. Wow. It's just a little, it's not really a vacuum, honey. It's like you plug it into your computer or a, any oh, USB oh, thing. There you go. Like for clean. It's anyway. A crumb, it's a crumb cleaner. It's a crumb cleaner. That's it. It's a desk crumb cleaner. Okay, but I'm going to try it anyway. And then um, I grabbed the LED disco light, which I have not seen the LED disco light before. And I do not have batteries, but you know. I am saving this most likely for Halloween because I just like to have fun with the different lights and doing crystal balls for Halloween. So I grabbed it. Okay, and the last little area that we have is, is called Christmas. I don't need any Christmas, oh my gosh. I don't need any fall either. Can I just tell you guys what I'm doing for fall? So I'm, I'm, I'm doing some fall um, crafts. So this is my goal. I pulled out all my, my fall stuff, which I had two large bins full. And I'm like, okay, I need to make crafts that use large amounts of whatever. Tomorrow, <coughs> I think tomorrow, sorry, <coughs> tomorrow I'll have a video out where I used, <laughs> I used three, I did three, three crafts? Wait, one, two, I can't even remember that. Yeah, no, I did. I did three crafts that used large amounts of pumpkins because I had like an entire bin full of pumpkins. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So my goal is every time I go out there to do crafts, I'm trying to like, okay, what craft can I make that uses, here's the best part. They came out good. They came out really good. So tomorrow that video should be out. Some of it just depends on my uploading in the area. Snowbirds are back in Arizona, so uploading takes a little bit longer. And I'm trying to get ahead of the game, but that never happens. So there's that. Okay, so let's just dive into what I got for Christmas, okay? I did what I said I wasn't going to do. I did it anyway. I bought... The dang houses, because maybe, just maybe, I'm going to make my little cottage house. Now, I have talked about doing 25 days Christmas. I know. I'm that one crafter, the one that I do, during the season, I do the crafts. So, I know it's fall right now, so I'm doing fall crafts. And in December, I'll do Christmas crafts, because that's when I watch that stuff. I don't know about the rest of you, but I know most of the crafters are doing Christmas now. They're Like, I do it all, whatever. Sue me. So Marcus said that I should do the cottage thing that was the, I did the haunted house and he said I should do it for all seasons. So I haven't, they happen to have them. And I was like, all right, maybe this is why though. The only reason I did it is because I also walked in and found all of these and I was like, oh, well, that would make it really easy. So I'm like, all right. So I found the little Fences. Now I got both. I got brown and I got white because this one I can use for Halloween or another season and the white one for either way or or the brown or either way. I could do it either way. But then I found all of these and I was like, oh my gosh. So check out the little fairy people. See, these things are the good size for those little houses. Look, they're walking a dog and they got presents. And then this one, I love this one because they're out in the snow. So obviously I have to put snow on my thing. And then this one, yeah, just more presents. And I don't know why I got that one actually. And this one I just got because the guy was playing the fiddle. I thought I got, I guess I didn't get the bench and the light lamp, light post. <sighs> it was so hard trying to go through them and well, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm going to make it work with whatever I got. So I grabbed those and I was like, all right, now I have some stuff. But the reason I grabbed the two of these, so like this one I can do for Christmas because there's snow on it, and this one I could take all that stuff off and use it for like a Valentine's one or whatever. So I thought, well, I'll use one and then I'll keep one for something else. So then I also found some lights 
And I was like, so if I do the little house, um, I think I was thinking, not the snowflakes, but like the multicolored inside the house, I thought would be pretty cool. On the out, I mean on the outside of the house, not on the inside of the house, the outside of the house. And even though there's not little balls on here, like there's not little ornaments, I know I can, I can do that. Like I can put little pearls or something, I'll, I'll fix that. So I grabbed some of those. But then I found the big string of lights. This is a necklace, but I actually was thinking about for, for a DIY, like a wreath, so grab that. And then I love the little snowflakes. Not sure what for, why. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no idea, but I did. Okay. Oh, wait, there was a second Barbie. I thought so. There was two Barbie outfits. So that's the other Barbie outfit. So I got two of those. Sorry, it was in the wrong pile. It happens. So two Barbie outfits. Okay. So then um, I always buy the scarves but I've never seen this green one. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. By the way, if you ever do St. Patrick's Day stuff, grab one of these now because it's perfect for like a gnome if you're gonna do a St. Patrick's Day gnome. Um, this, this stuff for like the hat or whatever. But anyway, I grabbed it for a snowman. I almost bought Jack's one, but we live in Arizona. It's like ridiculous. So, so for the snowman, and then um, I grabbed, they had the fish bowls. I gotta put these things down first. So I grabbed two small. Let me just show you some ideas for snowmen, right? So big on the bottom, two smaller on the top, right? Or big on the bottom, small on the top. Or big on the bottom, white ornament on the top. Then you put your face, then you put your hat, and then you put cute little snow scene inside of here. And then this probably wouldn't work in this instance because I feel like it would be too big for it. But in the, like if I do the, there's all kinds of, there's endless things to do with snowmen. Okay. And then I also got this one, cause, um, but not really for that. <laughs> I, just, I just got the big ornament. Oh no, my gosh, you guys, see? Now it could work. I was like, I really want to do a great big scene inside of an ornament. Look at that. Now I can do it. And I don't have to hang it. I can just put it on a base like this. Now I'm really liking those things. Okay. Um, so I got all those things. Then I grabbed one tree because I don't have my stash out yet. And I'm like, do I have a Christmas tree in my stash? However, um, I am talking about Christmas. Am I, am I going to do 25 days of Christmas? Which I've done that before where I do a video a day for, 20, for starting December 1st. And then I was thinking, well, maybe I should just do the 12 days of Christmas and rewrite it. On the first day of Christmas, my DT gave to me. A gnome in a Christmas tree, and then make a gnome out of a it's instead of a, a partridge in a pear tree, a gnome in a Chris in a DT in a Christmas tree, whatever it would be, right? And so you know you hang the trees upside down, you put the nose and hat on and right. Okay, so I was thinking that, so I grabbed it just in case I decide to go with that, and I was trying to oh, try and write that the twelve days of Christmas and rewrite everything. Then I was I'm driving along in my car, I'm trying to remember what are they. The first day of Christmas, two, and then second day of Christmas, two turtle doves and a part, three French hens, four calling birds, five golden rings, six geese, six geese a laying, seven geese a laying, eight maids a milking, nine drummers, drum, I don't know. I have to look it up. Why am I doing it now? Don't know. But I know some of you are going to comment down below and like, give me the whole lyrics. Anyway. So I was trying to think of like, what could the things be? And the only one I came up with that I thought was really good was, and a gnome in a, de in a Christmas tree, because it's kind of fun. All right, so I may do that. Yeah, if you guys have a preference, you let me know. Um, and I guess I don't have to necessarily follow the, the five can be a numerous things, right? Or the four, or the nine, or the whatever. It doesn't have to be nine of something. It could be nine glue sticks gluing, right? Okay. So the final thing that I bought, which I've never done this before, so it's probably about time, was I bought one of these mugs, which I love these, and a white candle because I am going to do one of the the faux drinks with wax where they put, um, they pour this in and then they make like a gingerbread or something to be sitting on top out of wax and blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna do it. So, <clears throat> so far all I've gotten is the mug and this. Oh, so, see? I just thought of one, right? Um, so one of the days could be, um, I don't even know what number, but you know, say eight marshmallows floating. Wait, what's what rhymes with floating? 
because I could put eight marshmallows floating in my candle thing here. Okay, so you see where I'm going with this? What do you think? What do you guys think? 12 days of Christmas or 25 straight days of Christmas? You guys let me know. Um, all right, so that is my haul. What is it? My, you guys, I gotta say, this thing is so strong. I am sitting here just like, holy buckets. It's so strong. This would be a fantastic bathroom air freshener. That's actually where I'm going to go put it. So if you see these, buy. I will buy more of these if I see them. Okay. Oh my gosh. What a haul. Can we talk about the brand names? I mean, let's just start with Starbucks. Starbucks. How about Alani or Jim Beam and Harry and David coffee? And how about Febreze, right? Lottie Da socks, which are the Lottie Da socks. And then we have the Fiddlesticks and the Mixeroos, which I've heard of Mixeroos before. They were big. Um, I want to say like when one of my kids was little, maybe it was a grandchild, doesn't matter. Anyway, Barbie, Scotch. What else? I think that's it. But those are some good brand names, you guys. It was a great haul. I hope you loved this haul. What are you going to be looking for? And who doesn't need a good thing of poopery? All right. But they call it pre-poo toilet spray. Pre-poo. Pre-poo. <laughs> uh, pardon me. Do you have any pre-poo? Okay. <laughs> All right. Everybody. Um, Ebbingham, you were kind of quiet today. Mommy didn't talk to you much, did I? You were just watching. Okay, well, then we're good. Thanks for that. All right, everybody. Have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, I don't even remember what I sang today. What did I sing? Um, some days are diamonds. Some days are stones, which is a great line, isn't it? Because diamonds were originally stones. So some days are better than others. Some days things get completed and you get a diamond. And other days you just get a stone. All right, everybody, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. We'll see you back here real soon. Thanks for watching. Love you, besties. Bye. Say goodbye, Effingham. Say goodbye. Thanks, Effingham. Thanks for watching. Bye.